too. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm Leslie. I'm Noel, and we are. Happy days. We're snacks. eating as usual. <laughs> and waffle. Get popcorn. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my gosh. Have you ever Googled blue waffle? No. What's a blue waffle? Google it. It's disgusting. Okay, I'm gonna have to write that down for it the comments. It has to do with the J area. I think it's like a. Only you come S up with it. Like, I think it's like a type of STD. Like, it's disgusting. And we start the video with that. <laughs> no yeah. wonder people like say, well, I don't know, y'all are pretty sexual. <laughs> okay, so this is uh, video four of our series about mm -hmm. what the heck happened to Noel. Crazy. Glad she's here. So we want to go through on this episode, let Noelle talk about the recovery process. This is only day one, but you you can't see this in the flesh, but like, oh my god, you can't even like if this was me, my whole fucking face would be retarded. Like, <laughs> right. like, it's okay. You make it look good. So what <laughs> have you been doing? Because okay. oops, it's amazing. Okay. So you know I'm pretty holistic anyways, right? So yes, you and I, I know that. They don't know that. Yeah, well you well <laughs> yeah, but I'm talking to you. <laughs> But um, both I'm both of eat us. On this. I'm, I'm sorry. So am I. It's around that time of day for us. But and plus, I have to make sure I eat. But both of us like holistic things first, and then if that doesn't work, we go to more traditional, right. over the counter stuff, and then whatever. But um, I know because these are pretty massive stitches. I mean, it's going through part of my yeah, eyebrow. Yeah. yeah. See. It's like, that's all stitches. 15 stitches, two broken toes, a hole in the leg. So it starts here, and then it goes down through the eyebrow, and this one comes in front of this I don't eyebrow. know how you didn't hit your notes, like... Because I ducked my well, head. I'm just saying, most people, I mean, yeah. Well, I can, t I can tell just by here and where the scrape is that I ducked my head. And you have it, a bruise here? No, I don't have any bruise there. It's only day one. I oh. <laughs> But the skin got like folded down because I ducked my head. If I would have had my face up in that, because you know in deadlifting your face is your your head right. is up. But when I started to fall, I don't remember, but I ducked my head enough. Right. But um, because it's huge, even with the stitches, it's like huge right. um, skin overlapping. I'm like, okay, so I've got to try to start the healing process. I think tomorrow will be the worst, kind of like the leg day, like the dom's two-day effect. I think that's when, like, the aches, more of the aches will come. Oh, yeah. Then I think you're still, like, in a shock period. Oh, like, yeah. We're Love riding me. the wave of let's... And I've got to be able to get back into the gym because that, will, of course, not being in the gym, even low resistance, things will start really manifesting. Right. I think walking is going to be the best one. I said now. low resistance. I'm not going to do heavy, but I've got to get my body back on because on its schedule, otherwise lot of stuff's going to start com you know, coming out more. But I know that there was going to, like, all of this red and swelling was up here. I mean, it stuck out. And remember, I told you there were knots. Okay, so I saw pictures yesterday. Night and day. I mean, mm -hmm. it looks it looks Because really everything's going down? Yeah, it looks good. So in order for this to go down... It's my door, sorry. It's okay. Um, I've been using these J things that I normally use in the so Do you it, put them in the freezer? Mm -mm. Put in the no, freezer I feel. Cold. Oh wow! Well. They haven't been in the freezer and they're cold. Yeah. So um, yeah, I just I use know. these, and they're easy to sterilize. They're easy to sterilize. She kept going on me. <laughs> <laughs> they're easy to sterilize, and they're and they're a lot more. Um, they're easier to use. They're they're not so hard on your skin face. Right. But I've been using this to legitimately roll the uh, the the blood that's underneath back out in its normal manner. It, yeah, it looks really good. Um, I, up, I think that's helped tremendously. tremendously. The hard part though is under my eye because when I touch it, it's like electric no, shocks. No. So I have to take my pinky and I do small, gentle, I'm talking gentle, like this. Are you doing like any vitamin E oil or no, anything? No, not yet. Not yet. Um, the first day, um, and this is from a friend of mine who is um, also, a, a, an energy worker, but he's all holistic too. I've known him for I don't even know how long. Um, Daryl Sprout, he's a snake handler. Oh wow! 
But he he almost Does he use his energy on the sinks? No. <laughs> <laughs> like the ones that come out of the basket. He <laughs> he almost broke my arms one day when he found out I was using Neosporin. And so he he's the one that taught me to use raw, unfiltered honey. Okay. And you use that in the place of Neosporin because it's the best anti bacterial wow. and because it's so sticky it holds the um i didn't know this so first i would um Where do you get your honey? uh I, well i have to get it online because it's it's more expensive but you, you only do local right uh yeah okay good because it's very important to do local for your allergies yeah but i you it's expensive to get it but it keeps forever and mm -hmm. it, you only use it for wounds so it's not like i'm eaten so mm -hmm. to me it's worth the investment initially right and then you take a Q-tip and, and some warm water and I clean it off real gently because you don't want to mess your stitches up. And then I just take a dab. You know, he would yell at me right now because he there's a certain type of cinnamon you use with it. You can't just use There's it. different types. There's like lots of different types of cinnamon. Right. And, but I wasn't going to use cinnamon around my eye. Right. I can use honey. And so I would dip it in the raw unfiltered honey and then I would dab it on and then I would put the bandage over it lightly. Nice. I'm gonna remember that. And like literally, twenty four hours later, no problem. I mean, it's like I was literally able to get clean it better. And mm -hmm. now I don't have to wear a bandage unless I'm gonna go in some place that I feel like it's. It's only been one day. Yeah, yeah, and you can look at it; it's sealed. Yeah, it looks fantastic. And um, and there hasn't been any infection, knock on wood. So I still do these every day. I um, have now graduated from using the honey because it is sealed. Unless it opens again. I'm sure I'm about that, so no. To red raspberry seed oil, which you can get online. What do you do that? Um, do you take it? I don't. Put it on it? Do no, I put. I use this to put on it. Okay. So you can so Google it, it. Red raspberry seed oil. Okay. You can also get carrot seed oil, which okay, are. Um, it's it's a lot different than it's real super light. Look how light this is. I mean thin. Mm -hmm. It's not thick. Okay. Like vitamin E would be so thick yeah. that stuff stuff would cling to it. So this stuff is real thin, and it's got a lot of good of the natural healing. Like it's antibacterial. It's also high in vitamin C okay. and I'm healing. It starts. Antioxidants. Antioxidants. <laughs> okay. And um, and then I have an aloe plant that I have at home that's huge, and so I cut that. And this is important. Most people don't know this. When you cut your aloe plant, you have to make sure it's a large, um, what do you call it, leaf, whatever yeah, that is. Yeah, like a branch. Yeah, I can't um, think straight. I can't think straight. It's arm. You got to get a knife, and you've got to clean it really well, and then you dry it with a sterile cloth. You cut the leaf close to the base. Then you take that leaf, and you put it in a bowl or jar, and you have to let it drain for like 24 hours, because there's a substance called latex, like la la literal latex, it's poisonous. So it's yellow. I did not fucking know that. It's yellow. It smells, but it will drain after twenty four hours. You just rinse it off, and then you you rinse what leaks out. Then you can put it in your. If you just use a leaf, you have you what, it's because you that's know, you don't have done that. I know, right. Like, oh, well, you didn't die, but it's it's not good for you because that's the that's the plant's natural defense mechanism. Think about it. I am shook. I right. did not know this. I didn't either until I really looked into it. But then I put it into my blender and I grind it up. And, and you can put a little bit of vitamin C powder in it just to keep it longer. Mm -hmm. But you can generally keep it for like a week in a container in the refrigerator. I so know that. that's what I'm fixing to use next. I chopped off a leaf that's draining today. Tomorrow I'll start to doing aloe vera. Natural aloe vera and then my red raspberry seed oil. Nice. And that should start the healing process with that. But um, as this is for that. <laughs> the broken toes you can't do anything about. The body aches and pains, I just take a leave every four hours now. So are you doing um, like lemon juice and water to, to flush out all those, that all the leave and all that? Mm -hmm. um, I haven't done lemon juice yet just because I keep forgetting, but I'm trying to drink as much water as possible. Mm -hmm. I'm also eating um, a lot of foods, like that very first day, I was eating everything with essential oils, anything fatty, that essential, because that helps feed your brain. Right. So, omegas and yeah, so healthy I was eating, fats. Yeah, foods with healthy fats. You so know, like keto. Mm -hmm. And I made sure I got enough protein, even if it had to be through protein powder, I was just making sure I still had protein. Right. And, and then today it's more carbs. I get those gains. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I usually am carb sensitive, but I'm eating carbs because I'm very shaky today. Right, and that's salt. And I want to make only sure. only a hundred calorie pack. Yeah. Popcorn. But it's, you know, I had a waffle this morning, which I never would eat. Was it a blue waffle? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm drinking my water. <laughs> it's not a blue waffle. So the next thing, I don't know which one is it. You're good. Okay. So the next thing I wanted to go on, and we can touch back with the recovery part, which we can also talk briefly on, I don't know, like when, when we come back later. But I really want to stress because you and I, we had a question about a week ago of like um, a quick fix miracle routine. Yeah. And we were talking about there really isn't anything except for consistency and workouts. That no matter what happens, in some way you get you keep yourself active. Well, I know for a fact that all of this draining into my system, my lymphatic system really needs to be moving. So that means I have to be moving. Mm -hmm. And I have to be eating and drinking even I don't remember eating and drinking. Like I'm not hungry or thirsty, but when I look at it, I, I'll, but I, I have to force myself to keep up with it. And I have to make myself get up and move. Okay. And cause I want all of this to drain as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. And I think that key to my recovery right now and also key to why things weren't to the, cause this is the mo this is the hardest thing. I'm buying one of those fucking things. You said, yeah. <laughs> you said they're cheap. But when this happened, people, now that I know it fully happened, I know for a fact, I mean, I love bodybuilding. One of the reasons I love it is because it does, when you lift weights, your bones get stronger. Right. You, there's no, that is scientifically proven. And your body is able to process. You're, you're able to take pain. You're able to take, like I had my, the day before was back day. I did a heavy back day, which was perfect because literally when I hit, I mean, there's absolutely no reason why my neck should not be broken. I know. You're As, so fucking lucky. I mean, but it's because of how strong my back is and my neck and my neck and my traps. You know how I've got traps like an ox. So, I mean, that just alone from the neck down, yeah, I've got broken toes, but they're not well, bothering thank me. God, you were, it, was, it was the first set. It wasn't like a heavy set because yes. it could have been a thousand times worse. You would have hit yeah. harder. I mean, yeah. Because I, I lift heavy, and that was literally... But, it was, that was light. That was yeah. Light. But I always do that, which is another thing. I mean, especially if I'm elevated up off the ground with anything. I always test it first, which I did. And then I put the lowest weight, I work up to the highest. And thank God, yeah, because I can lift pretty damn heavy. And that would have been bad. But I, also, I was someplace where I was never at. I'm usually on the rubber matted floors with the deadlifting equipment. But this one, I was... Trying to take a shortcut and get things done all at one time. Well, that's right. Don't take shortcuts. Don't take shortcuts. Yeah. Do with, stay with what you know. And it, you know, and it doesn't matter how safe you are. Even if I was on the deadlifting, this still could have happened. Could happen. yep. Still could have happened. Even if I had a spotter there, still could have happened. Because nobody would have, they, they're there to spot the, the, the equipment, not to spot you. I still would have fell forward. Right. So it, there was no... It, it was just a wake up call to me at okay, my body took a, it absorbed a lot and of she trauma. Was fantastic for day one and we're gonna keep doing updates to show you because you, you wouldn't even guess that this just happened yesterday. I mean like it's crazy. If you would have seen the picture that I saw yesterday of what <laughs> happened, like it's it was bad. Not, it's night and day. I mean it still bad. looks bad but not near like Yeah, because it was all swollen. and right. I mean it hurt. Yeah. It was out pretty far. It was out, poking out. So I'm interested to see what this is going to do to the eyebrow, but we'll I will keep everybody know. updated for sure. Yeah. And next week we're going to have some new snacks. Some new snacks. Oh, before we leave, we said it on the live. I want to make sure, please send your prayers out to two people that we know. Um, one is uh, Coach Robert McAllister and his youngest daughter, Christy Nicole. Did I say that right? Yeah. They are, um, they were put into the ICU with COVID pneumonia. Coach, Coach Mack, that. so many people know him. He has helped so many, but uh, this is bad. And then, okay, time-wise, Alex Jenkins, he just had a stroke. He's one of our viewers. Yes, he's in a rehab right now, so. Y'all get better. With prayers to them. So until then. I'm Leslie. I'm Noelle. And we are Behind, Behind the, the Gains. Appreciate life. Yes. How do you kiss your babies? Yes. <laughs>